Hey everyone, it's James, um, formerly known as Jamie Austin. I'm putting some pictures here so you can get a general idea of who I used to be. Um, I used to go by Gossip Gay, I used to have a drama channel, I used to sell merch, I used to sell products, I used to be really deep into the LGBT lifestyle. It had consumed me my entire life. Some would say that the word consuming is offensive, but that's how I felt. I was demonically oppressed. I did drugs. I did things that I didn't want to do. My mother was a crack addict, and I know she did crack a week before my birth to try and kill me. She had this weird Jezebel-like spirit attached to her. Um, this, These Wiccans would tell me that I could one day rule the world, that I could be the next Oprah, and all these things, and then the drugs that I would do would actually demonically possess me or oppress me, and it would make it so that I actually could not fight back and that I could not stop, and the only reason I wanted to be Barbie is so that I could marry this man so that he could be happy with me and that I could be a biological woman, and I thought God would give that to me, but he would never do that. You will not be able to understand this video if you did not see the previous one. Okay, so when it comes to my mother and her being a crack addict and all these things, like, the seducing spirits, the actual demons that would attack me while I would use shrooms and psychedelic drugs would try and convince me that I was actually the Antichrist, the son of perdition, that I was born into reprobacy, that I could not do anything about this, that my entire life was doomed because my mother was a crack whore, like, I was adopted at birth, I was apprehended, like, she severely abused my brother, there was a lot of things going on in my life. Um, I had no dad who loved me, he never took care of me, he didn't appreciate me, so I looked for love elsewhere, and at the time, like, I was actually engaging in some things that I shouldn't have been engaging with, like, I was kissing men, I was doing things because I really wanted love, I really wanted to be validated, but... What happened is I was actually raped on my 16th birthday by a man named Julian Flemings. And I forgive him, but I do think that it's important that people like that be publicly accountable. However, he like he was 18 or 19, I was 16, and he raped me on a log near the Oshawa Center, um, on a log by the lake, Lake Ontario. Um, I didn't want it, he forced it on me, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. It made me feel, though, like I was some sort of abomination in God's eyes, that he would never care about me again, that it would, that something would happen, that I was just beyond repair. And then later on in life, I'm paraphrasing some of this stuff because it's hard to actually put into words at times, but I started to obsess over the type of people like Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, um, all of the people that most of us Christians would now consider Jezebels, and I would agree. I feel that those people did sell out, and I, a part of me actually feels bad for them because I understand how tempting it would be. I do. I truly do. I've been tempted so severely. Like, when I would do shrooms, these things would try and make me sell my soul to the devil, and I know people don't believe that. I know people think I'm crazy, that I couldn't have done any of those things, but I really, truly could have, and that's why my faith is so strong. I know that these demonic forces really, truly exist. Now, I know that some people will be thrown back by the whole son of perdition and antichrist claims, but there's many people I've met who have thought same things, okay? So I, it's not just me. I've, like, there's movies that seem to be about my childhood, like everyone's talking about Jamie, like things that would actually continue to push this narrative on me that I had no choice but to like, one day either be a drag queen named Barbie or to transition into Barbie. So then for a while, I would try and fight that off and I would be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to not have sex with Tyson because I, I do actually love him. Like I, I do. I, I, we never had any sexual encounters. Like I saved that because he was a straight man. I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruin him. I always knew that the Bible was correct. I just felt like I couldn't do anything to stop where my life was going, but that's not true. That's not what the Bible says. Um, so yeah, I continue to look um, up for any sort of guidance, and I thought that maybe God would one day allow me to be a biological woman in the next life, if that makes sense, to have his kids, to do all those things. So I tried to justify that, I tried to justify that version of Barbie, but Barbie, the, the idea, this whole Jewish mysticism, Barbie, and me coming through it and like actually doing all those things was so enticing to me, but I wouldn't admit it. I'd be like, no, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, but I really did. I really did. However, I would not have been happy to be trans, like a lot of the people online would have been. I would have actually wanted to have been a biological woman, and if I could not have been a biological woman, I would have needed like the third temple to be built, like someone to pretend I was a biological woman, all of that. Like I would have needed to look like Paris Hilton mixed with Kylie Jenner. I would have had to have the perfect body, the perfect face, the perfect long blonde platinum hair. Like. All of the narcissistic traits that you can think of somebody is what was involved in me. But at the same time, I was also like partially Christian. It's really hard to explain, but 
the end my entire life Christianity has drawn to me I was raised in a seventh-day Adventist private school like and I was bullied a lot like I was beat up and before I even was doing anything wrong like just because I was a bit flamboyant because I couldn't help it because my dad didn't love me because I was raised by my mother mainly um, there's a lot of other things to talk about but one of these days I will talk about them but I eventually came back to Jesus I eventually realized that he did love me and that these verses my homosexuality and my transness and me believing horrible things about myself was the demons trying to attack me it was the devil accusing me he loves to do that to people but um i hope that this testimony can help somebody Amen. Amen.